All right, so bear with me here. This here is one of the nitrogen drop hoses uh, that go on the sprayer boom. And between the 30 inch rows of corn, uh, this drags between and puts liquid nitrogen on. I had told you guys I was interested in trying uh, making some homemade Y drops. Now, let me just uh, illustrate this quick. You get, get situated here, okay. So, you've got your ground, there's corn, there's a roll, alright so you get the point, there, there's looking down a roll of corn, then you have your There's your sprayer boom. And then between these rows, you have your nitrogen drop hoses. These will ride on the ground and top dress the nitrogen. So uh, if you guys look up uh, 360 Yield Saver or the company that makes those Y drops, it is a pretty uh, interesting rig. Um, basically, what they're doing, hang on a second here. Okay, so like I said, the Y drops, uh, they're more like this. Uh, to illustrate it, they hang down and then it goes to a Y and you're putting the nitrogen on both sides of the row instead of putting it uh, over, over a 30 inch area. Instead of putting the nitrogen there, this is putting the nitrogen here and here and also here and here and all the way down the line. Uh, that way it's closer to the roots and the root zone. Uh, it can, the nitrogen can funnel down uh, where the roots are instead of in the center of 30 inches here. Uh, you get the point of what I'm trying to say. Um, I have looked at a lot of videos on this, have been reading a lot of stuff. Um, I don't know if it's worthwhile, but it does make sense having the fertilizer closer to the roots uh, than putting it right directly in the center. Uh, maybe there's less of a chance that uh, it leaches if it's uh, captured by the roots. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> it's an interesting enough uh, project for me to want to do some testing here. Uh, this would be the top view looking down. Uh, your hoses hang and then they go on a Y. So uh, now <laughs> I didn't price the actual Yield Saver 360 Y drops because I'm sure they cost pretty much. Uh, and even if they didn't cost a lot, even if they were affordable, uh, making them work on this 1980s, 70s sprayer uh, with the T-Jet, um, it's just not even if I would buy something ready-made I would still have to modify it I'm pretty sure so I do have a few concerns and a few different ideas on designing this and if any of you guys have ever tried them or used them I'd love to hear your uh, your opinions on them I have googled and looked up uh, people that have made them homemade and uh, it's pretty interesting so the first thing I need was some 3 8 hose this is chemical resistant hose it'll work great for the nitrogen there's a hundred feet here so we have uh, room to uh, do some things here so this is where it threads on to the nozzles uh, that's no problem I can uh, move that over to here so you're gonna have this hanging down from the sprayer boom and then I need it to go into a Y so what I was thinking uh, just for some testing and for cheap uh, I can get 3 8 hose barb plastic fittings on a Y that it's a perfect Y and depending on uh, how long the center drop is versus the side wings um, is uh, kind of how far I think that it's going to put the uh, put the nitrogen is what I'm thinking so I can do some testing with that uh, once the corn is off actually once I have just stock sticking up I suppose I could go and figure out what length I need but if you guys take notice on the yield saver models and uh, what other guys have done uh, in their homemade versions, um, some of them, they have the drop here and then it almost looks like a weight. I don't know if it's a weight or a regulator and then you have a drop and then there is a plastic it's like a horn here. It's a plastic uh, to keep the um, Probably it's like a smooth plastic probably to keep the stalks from hanging it up and then out the side is where they have their drop hoses It looks something like that. 
Um, I don't know if these are weights or if it is some type of regulator. It would make sense if it's weights to have these hoses weighted. I think they're hoses. I don't think they're hard plastic. You can probably get the hard plastic version uh, with the piping, but uh, it would make sense if it was if the hose was weighted because when you're going over bumps and stuff, uh, they'd be swinging all over the place. Um, versus having them weighted that that kind of gives them some stability So here is my one concern about this project and why I'm not sure how this is gonna work for me uh, With my terrain the terrain's the biggest thing. Okay Let's just say we have a hillside and we have corn now this is gonna be a lot steeper than it's just for illustration. Okay, so we got our corn on the hillside here all right, so now like I say, then we're gonna have, let's see, our sprayer boom. It's gonna be pretty well level. Are these Y drops, when they're hanging down, are they gonna wanna go this way from being on the hillside? And are they going to uh, start going into other rows? Or if I have the hose here and I have a 3 8 hose barb fitting right here, uh, off to my hoses are these here going to get tangled up in the corn stalks and uh, be tearing out corn that is my biggest uh, concern if you just being that they're on a y uh, versus let's say here's another sprayer boom we just have the straight hoses with no y's nothing to get tangled uh, your corns here if these would go this way um, the corn can kind of guide these hoses that they don't get off into another row. It works out pretty good just with the one hose um, <coughs> when you're going through. Um, the other thing is when you're on a hill like this and uh, if, if the hoses are hanging to the side, uh, it has me thinking that uh, these this nitrogen placement here and here on each side of the row of corn uh, isn't going to be here and here. It's going to be probably over here and here <laughs> if these are on a on a slope on a pitch so um, those are some of my questions and thoughts I don't know if a weighted boom is gonna fix that um, I don't know if I have a sprayer that the boom can level um, of course if you'd have a boom that can level and it can uh, go side to side with the terrain then yes it won't be a big problem this one does not this is a rigid boom uh, it does have suspension but it does not uh, the, them hoses are gonna go either way so th that's one question I'm just thinking out loud here wondering what you guys might think uh, for on the hillside now another option that I have seen and I don't think that this is the best idea because the hills are kind of gonna hurt it too I've also seen um, steel that clamps to the boom. Here's your sprayer boom again. So that's a sprayer boom. You have a piece of steel. So we'll just say that this is steel. So that is solid there that hangs down and then it has that plastic horn right there and then it has the soft hoses coming out. Uh, and then of course your hose that comes down to Y this off. Um, so it's like a rigid uh, piece of steel so it can't it can't flex up and down the hills. Um, I don't think that that is going to be an option just because of my terrain. Also, uh, you get on a slope or something and these get hung up in the ground and it's gonna be bending the boom uh, back uh, with all the up and down with the terrain. Um, you've got terrain that kind of has a rise and then goes up. Uh, so you're going along and your boom's close to the ground here or here when you're headed back down the hill, it, it's just moving all over the place. Um, I don't think steel's gonna be an option. Maybe I can make something that is not as long. That just has, I don't know. So that has me thinking. The other thing I'm wondering about is this horn right here. Um, I've seen some guys make them out of steel. I'm wondering if I even need it uh, because with my design, let's just say this is your hose. Then in there, you're going to be putting a 3 8 hose barb Y that looks a little bit like that and then you're just gonna have a piece of hose and a piece of hose and then of course your hose clamps so now this is very small this 3 8 Y is that going to affect uh, anything or do I need to have a plastic shield 
over this area like a almost like a, it almost looks like a combine uh, <laughs> a snoot um, <laughs> I don't know I haven't figured out the engineering yet uh, you guys can uh, debate it in the comments I'd love to hear your opinions on how to make this work uh, keep in mind the terrain you're sloping uh, so they're gonna want to move this way now if I do upgrade to a better sprayer that uh, the boom can level it'll take a lot of that away um, keep in mind that you're also going up and the back of the sprayer is going to be dropping down closer to the ground um, this width from the sprayer boom to the ground here is always going to be changing that's why it almost makes sense to not have it on steel if you were somebody that was farming the level uh, yeah that would work pretty well I think um, so a couple challenges here I'm not sure at this point I can even use them uh, just because of the terrain but uh, just some things to think about there uh, if you guys want to comment I'd love to hear your opinion if the Y drops don't work I'm just gonna make up a couple of them just to test it uh, once we figure out how if it doesn't work that's all right I need to replace these anyway a lot of these have gotten pretty bad so that's what this hose was originally bought for and uh, the only thing that would cost me at this point would be the 3 8 uh, fittings and I think they were like 98 cents from a place uh, online so um, it's a cheap way to test this out so um, if you're interested in this, uh, if you are top dressing with the single hose and you think it could work for you, uh, maybe it'd be an interesting uh, video series. Uh, definitely go on YouTube and look up the Yield Saver 360 wide drops. Uh, they have the whole science there behind why they're doing it that way. And also uh, Google uh, homemade wide drops and you can see a lot of different pictures. It's definitely given me some ideas. So anyway I've talked enough today I've talked enough this week I know I'm not doing a lot of action shots uh, as soon as this weather clears we're supposed to get a lot of rain tonight it's clouded over the sun's out now it was cloudy all day but we are supposed to get rain all night tonight um, I do have some spraying to do so hopefully one of these days we can get back in the field so it is it's too wet right now I was walking out in the one cornfield and my feet were sinking in so I don't need to be in the field so <laughs> that's why all the talking videos so all right guys uh, comment below I'd love to hear what you have to say